So we have several questions from uh, viewers in Clearbrook and other places about uh, gun control related issues. We don't have enough time to probably go into that subject in great depth, but one specific issue comes up in all these questions, which is whether or not uh, there will be um, any movement on the so-called red flag legislation. And that, of course, is legislation that would allow courts to um, remove weapons based on uh, certain allegations, uh, and then there'd be a due process hearing thereafter. Um, let's, uh, who, does anybody want to start with that? Should, should we start well, with you, Senator? Well, we, we did hear the, uh, red fl the red flag law and the background check law in mm -hmm. committee today and last night. And there is overwhelming support in the state for mm -hmm. these two pieces of legislation to address gun violence. So I think they'll be moving through committees and they'll come to the floor of the House. I'm not sure what will happen with those bills in the Senate. Yeah, I, um, it doesn't sound like uh, Senator Gazelka is very um, open-minded about it uh, or willing to give uh, hearings or kind of have the conversation, which I think is... Um, not good. I think we should have the conversation in the Senate um, and, um, you know, let the process go through, let people come in and, and, and have their voice, uh, take votes. Um, they, so um, I, I think we should be having these discussions. Clearly, Minnesotans want to have the discussion. And, and so and young I, it's people. unfortunate that it's being roadblocked in the Senate. And young people are so engaged on this issue now. I haven't there's so many young people just coming to the Capitol to talk about gun violence and what are we going to do about it. Well, uh, my concern with the red flag law is you're basically guilty before you can prove yourself innocent. And we have to be really careful about what we do in that area. Uh, personally, it's the mental health part of it. It's how do we identify the person that might uh, do something with a gun, with a knife, with a truck. We've seen that where people plowed through uh, a, a group of people and, and killed people with cars, trucks, vans. Uh, you know, people will do bad things if they if they so want to. Uh, they'll find a way. And uh, you know, I, I had a little bit of touch with Columbine High School uh, back when that happened. Uh, my kids were in the park 15 minutes before it happened. I worked with the teacher's daughter uh, that got killed. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's terrible. Uh, but it wasn't just guns. They had all kinds of pipe bombs in the school that fortunately they, could, they didn't do it right. They couldn't get, it to, couldn't get those to work. If that would have happened, the guns would have been just a small portion of it because of what they had. 